Hey guys, this is Matt Core from controlpaint.com. And today we're gonna to talk about making sure you're on the right track with your drawing education. And I should start by saying this video came about because I read the book, Drawing in the Digital Age. And this was a book that one of you guys recommended on an earlier video. So thanks for the great recommendation. It is a really interesting book. But right when I started the book, at first I didn't like it at all. It felt like, completely the opposite approach to the way I draw, and quite frankly, it was not very useful for my particular process. But I read the whole thing, and it turns out he's got a really fascinating method. It's all about strict observational drawing, and he applies some computer graphics methodology to it. But really, it's just a new way to look at something and copy it very exactly. But working as a concept artist, the method was not at all useful. But maybe if your goal was to do fine art, it would be a fantastic method for you. Well, this illustrates a really important point. There are different ways to learn because there's different end goals for drawing and painting. And if you're piecing together a self-education, the only way it's going to work is if you know what your end goal is and you pick the right resources to get there. So Control Paint talks about a variety of different subjects, but one of the subjects is drawing. And I should let you know that the way I learned to draw and the way that I apply drawing in my personal and professional work is imagination drawing. I need to be able to think of an object and draw it on a blank canvas. And the way that you approach this definitely involves learning from still lifes and all sorts of traditional observed drawing. But ultimately, the skills that I'm teaching are taught in a way to encourage being able to draw from your imagination. So this book, Drawing in the Digital Age, also teaches you to draw really well, but it would not help you for drawing from your imagination. It's just a different method completely. Neither one of these methods is right or wrong. They simply lead to different end goals. But learning to draw is a huge investment, both in time and money. This is going to be a big decision for you. So it's in your best interest to have a goal in mind and to pick the right resources so that you're not spending time in the wrong areas. And you shouldn't just limit this to books and videos. If you were in a position to go to a local art class or even picking your schedule at art school, it's worth investigating the teachers a little bit. Different teachers are going to bring a different approach into the classroom. So it's worth your while to find the ones that are going to support the method that you want to learn. For instance, early in my time at the Savannah College of Art and Design, I had to make a choice between the illustration department and the sequential art department. That's essentially comic books. My end goal was making concept art for video games. So I had to decide which of those two departments is going to better allow me to draw from my imagination, because I knew that's what I needed to do. And I looked at the different curriculum, and ultimately I decided that comic books was a better way to learn the skills that I needed. Now, I'd heard great things about both departments, but in sequential art, I got to just spend more of my day drawing superheroes, drawing dragons, stuff that doesn't exist in the real world. And this means I got the most out of the time I spent drawing in college. Control Paint is a beginner resource. The reason I'm here is to help you guys get to the next stage, but then you're going to move on to something more advanced. So what I'd love to see in the comments is a list of resources that link up well with Control Paint. Things that you have experienced to be a nice next step. So if you've got some interesting resources at the intermediate level that are similarly themed to Control Paint, let's hear about it. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.